A very good morning to all of you. My name is Shruti Mishra. I'm assistant professor of Jyoti Vidya Peet Women's University, Jaipur. Uh, this is a class of the legal requirements of establishment of a new unit. It is for the BBA, BCom, BBA LLB and BCom LLB six semester students. Let's talk about the legal requirements of the establishment of a new, new unit. What are the basic requirements which actually required for establishment? The first one is register your business name. Here, when we start with establishing a new business, it is very important for each and every business that they need to register their name. There are certain criteria that they need to fulfill for registering their names. To register your business name, you'll likely register a doing business as DBA. It is called as DBA. A or fictitious business name FBN. This process let, lets you state or local government know the name you are operating your business under. Means the state government or the local, local government should know about which type of business and what business you are establishing under what under which type of name. So this is basically about registering your name. So there are certain criteria you need to fulfill. The first one is an entity name. Legally protects your business at a state level. There should be certain kind of name for everything, right? In the world, everything has a certain type of name like Apple, like Table, like, like Shruti, like Isha, like anything, right? There are certain type of names. So we all have names. So the business which is also establishing has us has should have some name. So that can be uh, so if uh, uh, so that should be identifiable. A trademark legally protects your business at a federal level. It, when you deal in the when you deal at the uh, national level when you deal at the state level and when you deal at the international level trademark is the requirement of your business a dba that is doing business as doesn't offer legal protection but may be required depending on your lo location and the business structure because it is very important it is not a very legal format which is required but yes it is important uh, 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 because it is basically for where you are doing your business and what type of business you are having so doing business as is also a very much important thing. Another point is a domain name. Claims your business web address. It is basically a web address which actually shown on the website, which actually shown on the internet. Next is get an EIN. Any business that operates as a cooperation or a partnership or has employees will need an employer identification number. EIN is basically employer identification number which is from the IRS and I, EIN identifies your business from the tax purpose. It, it is basically for the, for the legal requirements that if, if you have an employer identification number, so you have to pay the tax as well and without this, you can't register yourself as a business entity. Another one is determine your business structure. Independent professionals also need to be aware about the federal tax obligations, income tax, self-employment, estimated, uh, estimated employer and excise taxes. Your specific business structure will determine your federal tax obligations as well as the forms you use you use to report to report these taxes. The U.S. Small Business uh, Administration provides uh, information about these taxes and forms. So business structure means it's basically like you are having a small scale industry, you are working in a medium scale industry or you are working on the large scale industry. So that is basically your structure. So you have to determine on which type of a, 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 a business unit you want to work. You want to work in a small scale, medium scale or a large scale. So on the basis of that, the tax will also be defined by the 
See, in the fourth uh, fourth point, we talk about the prepare to the pay state and the local taxes. So when you are working and when you are uh, uh, when you are working in in one state, you need to be prepared for those regulations which are uh, which are actually uh, implied by that particular state government. So you need to be abide by those rules and laws which deals in the payroll, income, sales, and the property taxes. Now the fifth one is. we talk about the get required business permits and the licenses like if you are having a manufacturing plant in rajasthan and you need you are dealing with a gujarat uh, you know with a uh, uh, in, in gujarat uh, in the in some areas of the gujarat as well and you need to trans, uh, trans uh, you need to transit the goods from uh, state of rajasthan to state of gujarat so you need you need to have certain type of permits and the licenses which actually work and which are actually required for a uh, continuous working for the sustainability of the business create a compliance plan see uh, in in generally in the corporate world we talk about the dpr dpr is detailed project reports so once uh, your idea of uh, a startup has been cleared it has been seen it has been seen by the state government that what should be your advertising policies what actually your marketing policies finance policies and is is i you are having some kind of intellectual property right and the privacy laws these are all are need to be prepared in the dpr so once the compliance plan is ready then you are able to establish business and then you can register yourself as a legal as an uh, as a as a uh, as a startup business and this these all six are basically the legal requirements for establishing a new business unit i hope you all understand and i hope you all get all these points and clearly uh, uh, going through with these points and i hope you are getting it and thank you so much we'll hope we'll see you for the next time